Bentley for Men Black Edition. The person who suggested that I get this was Mendy Sense. He's been pumping out so much good content lately, guys. I've been really wanting to try another Bentley since I've tried Bentley for Men Intense. That's kind of been the super hyped one. And to be honest, I really, really liked Bentley for Men Intense. I found it to be kind of like a mix between a designer scent and a niche style fragrance. But there was something about Bentley for Men Intense that just kind of turned me off. It doesn't make it not a manly style scent. Some people say it's like a purse or a makeup purse or something like that. It's not really feminine, but there's just something about Bentley for Men Intense that wasn't for me and I've been really wanting to try other fragrances from the Bentley lineups. The quality of the juice of Bentley for Men Intense was very very high. So let's enter Bentley for Men Black Edition. Now there's almost nothing in this fragrance that reminds me or makes me think that this is a Bentley style fragrance to me personally. This is a way different fragrance than Bentley for Men Intense. That's just my opinion but it is pretty likable. It does have a few pros, a few cons. I wrote those down as usual. The original had niche quality juice this is more of a designer style fragrance. There's nothing about this fragrance to me that smells kind of niche or overly different versus other kind of designers. It's just a designer fragrance versus Bentley for Men Intense, which I kind of felt was a little bit closer to a niche style fragrance. That doesn't really take anything away from it. I just want to let you guys know it does smell like a designer to me personally. The general kind of smell I get with this one is it's fresh and fruity. The opening to me was the best part. The opening lasts for 30, 45 minutes, maybe up to an hour, the full opening. That's kind of where this fragrance shines. It does have a little bit of uniqueness, especially in the top part. There is about 20% of this fragrance that does smell like a classic fragrance that I've smelled before. It's not really musky, but there's kind of like this thick general man style vibe that I get in this one, but it's not overdone. It's about 20%. The fragrance notes are violet, tangerine, papyrus. I'm probably saying that wrong. Moss, atlas, cedar, tobacco, and pink pepper. That really sounds a lot more unique than it really is. To me, I kind of get a little bit of that tangerine note. Citruses are overly used in fragrance and there was a little bit of a zesty kind of citrus it almost smelled a little bit like lime but now i can see it's the tangerine to me it's just a simple fresh fruity style fragrance guys it doesn't do too many other things and i guess that tangerine is what kind of gives it a little bit of a vibe. I'm not really an expert on violet or papyrus. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm just not really an expert on those. To me, it just smells fresh and fruity overall, pretty solid. Let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it has actually a pretty good opening. I really do like the opening. The opening was the best part, I was telling you guys. Very, very cheap price. I think it was 20 or $30, maybe $30. I'll lean towards more towards that. Definitely on the cheaper side if you're looking at all fragrances. It's very versatile, musky, fruity style fragrances are just I mean you're hard to go wrong in almost any situation you could pull it off it's not gonna be the best for maybe like a date night or something really really cool and things like that but overall you could just wear it whenever it has somewhat of a unique vibe definitely in the opening but it's not one of those fragrances that's gonna smack you in the face as being super super unique it has elements that are unique and those are in the opening so let's get into the cons to be honest guys this has pretty bad performance it is a fresh fruity style fragrance which doesn't really last very long I could have sworn that I sprayed this on my hand and I couldn't smell anything about seven to eight hours after after I tested that I was expecting it to be just terrible with long longevity and projection and it does have a decent amount of longevity and projection as I was testing it later on it does last a little bit but to be gone on the skin in seven hours that's pretty scary so that's one of its weakest parts it doesn't smell niche it has some familiar characteristics so it is somewhat of a fragrance that people have smelled before but besides that that's really it, it has bad performance doesn't smell niche and it is a little bit familiar to people the worst one of those is the bad performance unfortunately besides that there's not that many things bad to say about it a smell rating of an eight just solid across the board. I would have given this about a 7.5, but because it has a little bit of that uniqueness and I haven't really smelled a fragrance that lists tangerine very often, I'm gonna have to give it an eight for the smell. And likability, to be honest, I almost wanted to give this about an 8.5, but there is, like I was saying, 20% of that classic men's style fragrance that I smell in there. It's not the most likable thing that I've ever smelled, but at the same time, it's fresh, fruity, smells good. It's gotta be an eight out of 10, it's likability for me. Longevity and projection, I had to give this one an even six. It didn't really last that long, but it does have a decent amount of projection once you first spray it and things like that. People are probably gonna smell you for the first hour, hour and a half. So I'm gonna give it a, a solid six. To me, guys, this fragrance didn't wow me this is so different from the original it doesn't really smell bad it's actually maybe even a little bit easier to wear than, than the original because the original had such luxurious longevity and projection but it just had a little bit of the off-putting vibe and i don't get much of an off-putting vibe with 
belly for men black edition but anyways guys let me know if you tried this fragrance let me know what other fragrances i should try down below we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do that any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace